Hi, I'm Brianna. Welcome to my 2021 gift giving guide for ambitious moms. I'm really excited about this one because I love giving gifts. I love being thoughtful about gifts and I think that I have a lot of good ideas for somebody like me, an ambitious mom who maybe is pursuing a side hustle, um, wanting to be intentional, wanting to have a full life, enjoy their lives more. I think I have some good ideas for her. So this is for you if you're an ambitious mom trying to think about what to ask for for Christmas or if you are shopping for an ambitious mom. If you like me and my content, please subscribe to my channel and please like my video. And of course, share this video with somebody that might be trying to shop for you for Christmas. All right, so I'm gonna start by saying, I have this rule that I don't spend over $50 on someone if I don't know for sure that they want the item. One of the things I think we struggle with in gift buying is getting what we want them to have versus what they want versus what they actually need. So it's more important to get them something that they will actually use than to get them something that you feel they need or you want them to have because then it just ends up wasted, right? So the best gift is a gift that actually contributes to someone's life. Now, some gifts are gestures and the gesture of it might be more useful than the actual gift and that's fine, but it just really, it takes a little bit of discipline and it takes some forethought. So I'll give you a little bit of background on why I think these gifts are good. But as a rule of thumb, I feel like if you don't know for sure the person wants this gift, if it costs more than $50, you can't get it or you need to ask them if they want it. And that threshold might be different for you, but I like having a threshold of, okay, I don't know that this person wants a pair of Ugg boots and they cost more, more than $50, so I probably, I shouldn't spend, I shouldn't buy something that will be that big of a waste if they don't want it. Is that clear? Okay, so these are just some things that I think would be interesting and some things that I would like. And uh, here we go. The first thing on my list is a French press. French press coffee maker. I had coffee from a French press earlier this month and it was like, wow, it's not bitter at all. French press is on my list. This is something that's, you know, it's coffee, but I feel if you are buying for someone who wants to make moments more special, I feel like the process of utilizing the French press can create like a moment in the day, like can can build, help you build a ritual for relaxing and being peaceful and present. So that's why the French press is on the list. Now the French press is a, it's like a, a colander, not a colander, it's like a container and you have to grind the coffee first and then put it in there. You also have to boil water. So those are two additional gifts you can get. If you know that this person is interested in a French press, you can get a coffee grinder and an electric tea kettle, which I got for my birthday. I really like, and you put that in there. I think you let it seat for four minutes and then you push the press down and you are able to separate the coffee grounds from the coffee. And I just think it's lovely. I think it's a very mindful gift to give somebody because it can create a ritual in a moment. The second thing on my list is notebooks. I have a lot of notebooks and um, yeah, so I'm always running out and for my birthday, I got some new notebooks and I really, really like this one. I think women who are, you know, planning their futures, they, might, they probably do a lot of writing um, list making, note making, and it's great to have some good notebooks. This one, it, I really love the feel of it. My mother-in-law gave me one. I think it, she gave me these. It came in a pack of two. It's like a soft, it feels soft. 
It's college ruled, which is important. And the brand is Mara Me. All my things will be linked on my YouTube video. But I think this is a really great gift. Like thinking about nice notebooks. I don't really like the hard ones because they're not as portable, um, but soft notebooks I use all the time. And I think that ambitious moms might like having something like that to um, plan their lives in. Now, I just showed you all these notebooks. I have, I use all of these. This is my, this is for ideas and stuff. This is my journal. This is for manifestations. Like when I'm writing about, like writing out a vision. And this is for writing. And this is just like scrap paper and stuff. I use all these. And before I made this video, I had to run around looking for them. And there was a point I was like, there has got to be a way. And I remember my brother got his wife an Apple Pencil. I don't have an Apple Pencil because I don't really have an iPad, but I thought I went, I was like, maybe I should get one so that I can consolidate all of these notebooks into one place. Um, so if you have an ambitious mom in your life who does have an iPad, an Apple Pencil might just be an amazing gift. It can be pricey. I believe it's $1.99. I could be completely wrong, but so this is something that you will want to ask them if they would be interested in before you purchase. But I think it's a great idea as a way to help improve organization and you can still retain the hand writing. Like you can write in your handwriting and it can transpose it to um, text, which is also good for people who do blogs or like writers like me. So that's a really good idea. Um, something that I wouldn't be mad to have. My brother, my husband has a tablet that he doesn't use, an iPad. So theoretically I could use that, but I just don't know if I wanna give up my like physical books yet. My next idea is a ring light. So I am using a ring light right now. Ring lights provide the best lighting if you wanna make videos or um, even if you do a lot of postings. If the ambitious mom is somebody who's building a, a brand or a social media presence or makes videos, she needs a ring light. So she doesn't have one. Um, there are a lot of options out there. I have two ring lights and the biggest, and the same with the tripod. I'm using a tripod right now too. The biggest factor for me is I hate the flimsy ones. So I'm going to link one in below that I know is not flimsy, but if you get your hands on one and you're considering getting one, like look for one that's not flimsy because that is the hardest to keep your picture how you want it. But I think a ring light is a great option for a woman who is trying to put her face out there online. Okay, this one's a little out there, but if she's a little witchy, you can get her an entrepreneur tarot card set so this is a tarot spread that has entrepreneurial advices on it i've seen a few cards from one that'll say like go live or do do a mastermind or something and i think that could be really useful for someone who's into tarot and is also into entrepreneurship i don't use tarot but i know a lot of people out there do and i think that this is a great um tool for entrepreneurial women if she's a little witchy my next suggestion is a big one i think giving your ambitious mom headshots is a great gift i did headshots in february and i'm using them right now i still need to do ones that are more uh suited to my brand now but just the, the process of doing it made me feel so good and having this image of me at my best and me where I feel like it really captures me and my power is so powerful to have. To see me like that, I think just having the photos did something for me. And even more than that, it's great to have professional photos to use on your social media, on your website. Um, you just, you know, there is the difference in someone who's got 
a great iPhone photo and someone who's got a great professional headshot um, showing next to their name and their about me. So I think that's a great gift. And what I would recommend is finding a few photographers in your area that are similar to her style and then maybe even picking out a sweater or you know some article of clothing that she could wear for the photo shoot and then offering the op the options with the sweater and the money for the headshots because you know paying for the headshots is great but it's hard to find a photographer so doing a little bit of that work on the back end or i guess the front end is also a gift and can help her make sure she gets it done okay so have you ever been working really hard one day and you were like i don't want to leave and go get lunch but i also don't want to cook but i also don't want to spend a million dollars on doordash or uber eats or postmates that's me anytime i have tried to order using one of those services it's like my i get it's just not worth it for me not to just go get whatever it is i want to eat like the the delivery costs and because of that, I think a DoorDash or Postmates or Uber Eats gift card is a great gift because if you're like me, that's not something you want to spend money on. I think I'm in the minority, but as a person who is in the minority, I know I would love to get one of these as a gift because it's giving me a luxury I'm not allowing myself to have. And it's practical if she's deep in her day and doesn't want to go get lunch and doesn't want to cook lunch and doesn't have anything to eat. So I think a DoorDash gift card is a great option for a gift. $25, what'll that get you lunch because of how much it costs to use those services? Anyway, that's just something that I would like to receive because it's completely impractical to me to pay for myself. Okay, I have a few left. Um, T-shirts. If your ambitious mom has a brand, I think it's a great gesture to give her a t-shirt or something that has her brand name or logo on it. So a few years ago, I got this shirt and this was for my blog. I've completely worn it out. It was my friend made. That was a logo for my blog in the website. And I loved wearing it. It really made me feel legitimate. And I think that if you go through the effort of having a, having a shirt made for your ambitious mom, that that will really be a vote of confidence for her and it'll be something cool to have to help remind her of her goals. And I will link somebody in the description who can do that for you, but I mean, every other person has a cricket these days, so I'm sure you can find somebody local as well. Okay, I've got two more. This one's also a gesture. You can give her a subscription to Entrepreneur Magazine or another magazine that's relevant to whatever she's ambitious about. Again, it's a vote of confidence. It's saying, I see you the way that you want to see yourself. And here is something that people like you want to be, um, need or want or are interested in. I used to get Entrepreneur Magazine. I used to kind of look at it, but honestly, I didn't really look at it that much. But still, it would make me feel good if somebody gave me that because it would make me feel like they believed in me. And when you're trying to change your role as far as like maybe you're a stay-at-home mom and you're trying to become a business person, it little things like that help you to be, to really take on that identity of somebody else, of some the person that you want to be. Or you can provide a book or something like a uh, a mug that says you're one boss B, you know, something like that. Okay, my last option for ambitious moms is the USB C charging cable for the iPhone. Now, it's not just the cable, you have to get the block. This, what I have here is this is my laptop charger for my MacBook, but it's USB C. USB C is like a flat oval kind of situation and it charges like 66 percent faster than a regular lightning cord and block now you do have to get this cord and it can be any brand but you want to make sure that this is a good brand like this is really this is 
the black is what makes it fastest. This came with my husband's phone. So it's got the lightning cable on one end or the lightning adapter on one end and the USB-C on the other end. It charges so fast. And I think this is a great gift for really anybody, but I'm putting it on for ambitious moms because sometimes you need to sit down and record a YouTube video and your phone's dying and you don't have 45 minutes to let it charge. So you have your lightning cable and you can get it charged up enough to use it in 15 minutes. I think it's a great gift. I think everybody should have one and I'm sure that we will all have USB-C phone chargers in the future. Okay, so those are my gift ideas for ambitious moms in 2021. Remember, if it's more than $50 or pick a, pick a dollar amount, and if it's more than that, if they haven't said they want it, you can't get it. Don't waste money, don't make junk. Make sure you buy stuff that people actually want and will use. Um, and that's the same, don't buy things that are cheap that they will use and that will break and they'll have to repay. Like you want to give people stuff that's going to improve their lives. And a gesture can mean as much as a really practical gift. So those are a good idea as well. What do you think? What are you adding to the list? What are you liking from my list? If you like my video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel and or follow my Facebook page if you're watching me on Facebook. Until next time.